up to this point, you know, considering what you've gone through and what you have done, do you think have you done anything different? Like even just the smallest of details would it have derailed the whole situation completely as far as realism and who crazy race is today? Um, you know, I'm not gonna mention names, but uh, it's it, it's a trip because in, in my career, just to be 100 percent real with it, as I've always have been, is I've had jobs off and on. So there's there's been albums where I've worked a, a full time gig, and then did music when I could. You feel me? And then there's been uh, up until recently, last shit, almost three and a half years, I didn't work. I was doing music full time. As of literally the last three months, I've been working again. Just to kind of stack the capital, so we can do some other things with realism. I got, you know, what I mean, I got some shit in, in in place that I'm I'm trying to plot out. So one thing I could say, I think if uh, if I wouldn't have worked any job, you know, what I mean, throughout these years, who who knows? Like maybe I could have traveled more. Maybe I could have went on more tours. Maybe we could have done shit like that. But then again, I may have not had the bread to been able to put out ten or eleven releases. So it's kind of a in this business, it's a give and take, you know what I mean? Uh, money's quick to, just to verify this, money's quick to go into project, but it trickles back in. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're moving mass, mass, mass units. You know what I mean? We got supporters, like the last shit, the international project was pretty much uh, put together, you know what I'm saying, by the people. You know what I mean? It was funded by the people. 60% of it was went through Kickstarter. And I was actually, you know what I mean, really one of the first ones that kicked off that Kickstarter, you know what I mean, program, and now you see a lot of people doing it, you know. Prior to me, I saw it through Razkaz, Razkaz that did it. And then it was me, and then fucking Nice, you know, my Disciples did it, Duke did it, uh, Bamboo just did it, you know what I mean, it's, and it's a way, it's dope because you get to see who's really behind your movement, you know, because they're doing, they're doing a fucking pre-order, like, even though I'm giving you dope shit, they're putting up their money now. There ain't no album even in hand yet. There's not. Even, I'm, I'm in the studio recording that shit still, and they're putting up money behind it. So it, it's dope to see people get behind. You know what I'm saying? Your movement, your project, you know, your music, and, and what you're about. What's up next for Crazy Ray? As far as projects, albums, even yes. artist management. Yeah. So no, you know what I mean. Like uh, I know Mess is working on some new shit. Mess One Message. Um, we just dropped that Ninth Degrees. So we're pushing all those albums. Uh, as far as what I got on the table for myself is the new Mark My Words album. Um, I will say this, that it's not going to have many features at all. You know, a couple heavy hitters. I'm not going to name names yet, you know what I mean? But uh, it's going to be a real fucking solid project. Probably one of my best to date because I'm going to go all in on it. It's like I do the rest. Um, besides that, I'm plotting some realism shit. So... The first album, is I, the first release that I put out was the documentary. Ooh, you just gotta have me. The first release I put out was the DVD. I'm talking about, uh, it's called Take a Walk With Me. Let me grab that shit real quick. This is the OG realism release right here. Take a Walk With Me, two hour DVD. Limited edition, this is the last one I got. There literally was only 200 made and they're gone. You know what I'm saying? So this, if you got this, that's dope shit. So. What's coming up next, being that it's been seven years, now I'm about to uh, put together a realism DVD, but initially, first, I'm going to make, it's going to be a documentary. So, you're going to see all the behind the scenes shit from us making these albums, uh, you know, all the concert footage, all the shows over the years, just all the exclusive content that you don't get to see, kind of what we're doing right here, you know what I mean? So, basically, I'm going to do a documentary, dog, that's, that's, that's on the table right now. Um, that'll get turned into a DVD that's going to drop after the album. So probably late 2015, if not 2016. I'm going to take my time on it. Um, besides that, I want to put out my first vinyl. You know, kind of a greatest hits. Kind of take all the albums, especially after I drop Mark My Words. That'll be, fuck, with my seventh uh, official release. Not to mention the two mixtapes. So at that point, you know what I mean? I was born on the seventh. It's a good time to, uh, to put out my first official vinyl. And then... I'm also thinking about doing something similar to this, like my boy Tiny did, you know what I mean, and do a book. Uh, it's one thing about over the years is I've been able to build up a team of artists that are fucking dope, you know what I mean? It, it, it just, you know what I mean? Example, you're, you guys, you know what I'm saying? You guys are documenting this right now, so I have, 
mad heads over the years who took ill, ill photos of me rocking the stage, like Sal Rojas and my girl Siwat and, and uh, Decolo and all these people that taking dope flicks. I got mad, mad footage, you know what I'm saying? I got drawings people have done and, and shit like this. So basically it comes down to it, I got enough content besides a little preface and, and me telling a few stories that I could easily create a book now, you know what I mean? So that's something that I don't know if that's going to happen. It, you know what I mean? But it's kind of been in, in the brain lately. Like, you know what? You should do it. You know what I mean? You're at that age where you could do this, you know? I just don't know what, what steps I'm going to take to do it. Um, uh, Listed Dialects working on some new shit. Uh, there will be another compilation coming. Uh, it's not going to be called The World is Ours. It's probably going to be called The Relevance. We're going to start doing a Relevance series. Kind of the whole idea with The Relevance. And if you guys don't know what The Relevance is, it's a radio show that I do bi-weekly. And been doing it for shit almost two and a half, three years. So a lot of those independent artists, you know what I mean, we're the same way I put them out on the compilations, we're gonna put that music out so people can hear it. Whether it's a digital download, they get it through Bandcamp or SoundCloud, or we actually physically release it. But So that's on the table too. But besides that, man, really just um, stacking chips right now, you know what I mean, playing my cards. And uh, as of recently, been reaching out to, to promoters and, and some booking agents again to try to get the realism camp on the road. I know we're going to be hitting New York uh, soon. I know we're going to be hitting Chicago soon. But I'm really trying to take us international again. And that's dope. I was just about to ask about um, the relevance as well because you're very strategic over what you do. Artists and artist management, label. Right. And then realism. I mean, relevance, the radio show. Mm -hmm. And that show has helped other artists right. brought in their horizons, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, it almost seems to me like you kind of left the artistry a little, even though it's still with you, but you're now like jump-starting the other people who are trying to come in. And that's, to me, that's what it's all about. Like, doors are open for me, doors are closed on me. You know what I mean? So for me, a big part of, of who I am as I'm getting older, and you know what I'm saying, getting wiser, you know what I mean, is... Uh, we're trying to leave a legacy behind, you know what I mean? Especially when it comes to, you know what I mean, Raza and Latinos in this hip-hop game, dog. Like, we've we've been here since day one. We ain't going anywhere. And we're at that, I said it, we said it years ago, but really, look around us. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I do the relevant shows, like the actual live shows, like, I could, I could book my people and it could be a fucking ill show. Like, ah, okay, I'm just putting people on. It could be an ill show. So it's the same thing with the relevance radio. The whole concept behind it was... I want people to hear artists, you know what I'm saying, that you may have not have ever heard before from Chi-Town, you know what I mean, from New York to the Midwest, like Milwaukee and other places. So it's definitely me taking a step back, but it's also, you know what I mean, me giving back, as you mentioned, and really just opening up the door of hip hop and showing people like, for example, taking my brother Skeen from Chicago, who's a real dope MC, and be like, hey, you never heard of this cat, check him out. Or my brother syllables from Arizona who's real dope check this cat out you know what I mean and, and believe me I know vice versa on some hip-hop shit when they're with their homie smoking a blunt they're probably doing the same thing because the respect level is there there's a lot of dope talent you know what I mean it, it's not just LA it's not just New York it's not just Chi Town. like we're everywhere dog. you know what I mean we got talent everywhere so it's just about keeping that door revolving for us one thing I wanted to ask is doing you know the whole show thing have you just sat there Somebody new to you, you know, that you're interviewing and whatnot, and just thought to yourself, like, I gotta pick him up and put him under my wing. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, but I'll, I'm still, like you mentioned, I'm still st strategic with my next move. Like, there, there's been groups over the years and artists over the years that we, we were gonna put on realism. You know what I mean? And then just at the time wasn't right, I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? Maybe they weren't ready, so it's it's kind of a hit or miss, you know what I mean? But I got mayor of the street. I'm always seeing who's out there. And uh, right now, you know what I mean? I think the camp is strong, you know what I mean? So I'm not really looking to pick up anybody right now, but who knows? You know what I mean? Another couple of years can go by and I may pick up somebody else. But right now, it's that's one thing about, like, with running a label is I'm so used to the label being me, doing me, for me, that at the end of the day, sometimes I gotta take a step back and be like, fuck, homie, like, what about them? You know what I'm saying? So, 
even when I like when I come out of Holly, like that's one of my first missions now is I come out of Holly since I've been doing this shit for like three months again. I'm trying to get back in the grind of like, all right, cool. I got a new album. I'm stacking production. All right, what can I do to help that's going to benefit realism right now? What can I do that's going to help benefit getting these cats booked for maybe an out-of-state gig or even another venue here? You know what I'm saying? So it, it takes a lot. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it's patience. But I'll tell you one thing. I said it on the, my first album. It's dedication, homie. Straight up. This shit was not built for everybody. It's through the thick and thin. Like, it's... I'm coming out of work, I'm fucking beat. You think I want to take a shower and come in the lab and start working? Fuck, must have lasted in my mind. But you know what? If I don't do it, somebody else is doing it. You know what I mean? Sleep is a cousin of death. So I'm, I'm, trying, to, uh, I'm trying to get in as much as I can while I'm here, you know?